A woman who had consensual sex with two of her colleagues lied that she was raped by them so that her aunt would book her a grab ride home. Siti Junaida Azahar, 22, on Wednesday, pleaded guilty to one count of giving false information to a public servant. A second similar charge will also be considered in sentencing. Deputy Public Prosecutor Melissa Heng said CT and three men implicated in the case, named M, A and H, worked together at Grocery Delivery Service Redmart in August 2021. On September 6, 2021, at around 3.25 a.m., CT lodged a police report at Jurong West Neighborhood Police Center, claiming that she had been raped by her colleagues. She stated that the incident took place in a hotel in the Lavender Street area, in a room where there was only one single bed. On the same day, CT gave a statement to the police at the Serious Sexual Crime Branch. She said she drank alcohol with the three colleagues and another friend. Z, in the hotel room on September 4, 2021, at around 11 p.m. DPP Hung said City felt tipsy after drinking around four cups of whiskey and dozed off on the bed. City told the police that when she woke up, she realized that A, 20, was raping her despite her resistance. She also claimed that when she woke up again, H, 21, tried to pull down her shorts but failed to do so as she pushed him away. City eventually left the hotel room on September 6 at around 1 a.m. when her aunt booked a grab ride for her. Following her police report, the police began investigations. The hotel room was processed. And the leftover alcohol, mixer drinks and linen was seized for investigations. Furthermore, A was arrested and interviewed, while H was interviewed said DPP Hung. On September 8, 2021, when the police interviewed City again, she admitted that she had consensual sex with A and H, and that she had lied in her police report and in her statement. City said she lied as she wanted to leave the hotel room, but did not have money with her. As she was unable to get home, she sent a text message to her cousin and lied that three boys did something to her. She said this so that her aunt would agree to book her a grab ride home. Her aunt subsequently also accompanied her to lodge the police report. Deputy Principal District Judge Kessler So called for a probation report and adjourned sentencing to November. Those who give false information to a public servant may be jailed for up to two years fined up to $5,000, or both.